What do you reckon, boy? It's pretty cloudy, isn't it? I know. It always happens. It always happens when we're about to go camping. That guys is what we need when we go camping. So yeah, we're going camping. I know that weather looked pretty awesome, didn't it? Which weather? The, the awesome, the awesome weather? sunny skies we've got out there. Beautiful blue skies. Rain or shine, guys. Or don't let that get to you. Rain we're going shine. camping. Hey? You know why? You know why? This time last year, Mangalalabs is actually the third camping trip already. But this year. This is our first! Yeah. So, we are going to a place called O'Brien's Creek from Mount Surprise. It's about 40 kilometers on Dirt Road. Uh, it's also a well-known area for fossicking for topaz. So we're going to go get ourselves a fossicking license and some equipment and do a bit of fossicking over the next 3-4 days because we're going to be there for how many days? So there you go, five days. That's why we need all the food, because everyone keeps eating and eating and eating. So yeah, I'm in the middle of packing up and we're trying to get things organised because we're leaving in the morning, guys. So we'll keep in touch with you and, um, and come along for the ride. This should be probably a two or three video series. So guys, stick it with us on this video, on these videos that are going to be coming up on our channel and enjoy. Hopefully you enjoy like we all enjoy as well. See you on the road. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. From far north Queensland. Rainy. No, from Waterworld. From Water. <laughs> Going to O'Brien's Creek for um, four days camping Mangalalabs. I don't know if you could see it, but it's raining. So, yep. Well, I'm just really hoping that there's no rain over there. So it's uh, three hours from um, from Cairns to Mount, Mount Surprise and from Mount Surprise. Four hours. And Ma four hours, is it? Four hours and from Mount Surprise, it is 35 kilometers a dirt road to the camping area, Mangalalabs. Story time, Mangalalabs. The sad thing is, for this year, 2023, this is our first ever camping. Last year, Mga Lalabs, this time last year, we went camping and that was our third time camping. But this year is a very poor year in terms of adventures and camping, Mga Lalabs. I guess in some ways it's good because, you know, we've changed, both me and Daddy changed our careers, so huh, that's why. It's just sad because it's raining and when you want um, you know you want a beautiful day it'll come beautiful day of prepping driving and yeah for me uh, the comfort of driving is not the best but anyway as long as we're safe we get there when we get there there's no rush and because of the rain it's just all mist fog or cloud very white. You can't even see the what you call the what the valley. No, the gate. Yeah, you cannot see the valley. You cannot see below. Yeah, you can't see below because it's all white. Only two and a half hours away. It's a fair drive. We're actually just at Ravenshoe at the moment, and uh, Ravenshoe is actually the highest town in Queensland. So we're just 
everything should be downhill now, so hopefully we get out of the clouds and get into some more drier roads would be nice actually. We need to see the sun. I oh, know, I wouldn't mind seeing the sun too. Yeah. The sun. yeah. Anyway, I love their coffee. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy the coffee, so is Mummy, and we will see you on the road a bit more. See you a bit further down the road actually. of the trailer. Where are you going? Oh. G'day cows. Oh. What's wrong with that? That's beautiful smell. Yeah, everything's still good. Hey. Just hey, but it came out from the intestines <laughs> of the <laughs> four things. Hello everyone! Uh, How are you? <laughs> Hi Amanda, where are you going? Because you're freaking them out. Hi! Stay. You're going, what the hell are these weird weirdos doing out here? Stay over! Yeah, this is cattle property, isn't it? So there's a lot of auctioning and a lot of... I think it's more cattle sales out here, isn't it, by the look? Um, look right there. There's yeah. a big, um, like, a fence. Yeah. That's for selection, I think. Yeah. So we're just stopping. Not far, guys. We're only, what, 10 kilometres now from O'Brien's, the campground. The rain's Don't kind of cleared. Down. And it's good to get out sometimes when you see this and just have a bit of... bit of... Uh, personal time with the oh, uh, animals. A lot of babies too. Oh, excuse you. He's getting up. You can stay. We're not going to be harming you. My goodness. Sorry, guys. You can leave him be. All right, should we get going? She flies around here too. Daddy, can I stay on the side of you? No, you can't, because we've got to go. You'll be covered in dust if you, yeah. if you rode there. Okay, let's go now. We're going to okay. get going, because we've got a lot, lot to set up, we do. You can't, oi. What about on the side? It's dusty. Look at the dust coming off the car up there. I'm like, just standing here. It's dusty. All right, I'll drive you up to where he is, okay? Oh. The kids want to go on the car, so all right. We'll teach him a lesson. Creek camping. <laughs> Look at the mess. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. I'm hungry. Yeah? Well, then you wait. You I have, can't. Just have to wait. Help. Okay, Mangalala. So, an update. Now, because we're bringing the 10 man tent, so it takes time to really um, put them up. It's because we're putting top. 
It's our first time to be here at O'Brien's Creek Camping Ground. So we got this area here. This is the area we picked because that's that's the only area that we could see anyway. <laughs> that I think available. How about here, mga lalas? Here. There you go. That's the pantry. So pantry is done, mga lalas. We're just going to do the kitchen. That bag there is our camping kitchen. I need the thing. <laughs> no, it, <laughs> no, it's because. <laughs> that one is enough, Daddy. You don't have to do anything. That's fine. That's, that's all good. Oh, to God. You're just making it worse. <laughs> Finally set up. It's ice. It's now about seven o'clock at night. Mummy's cooked some fish for some rice, and we're just having it some hot chicken. Bit of a long day, hasn't it? So it is. It's a long. It's a long drive, Mummy. It's a long drive. Four hours four to get hours. out here. But we got set up. So we're going to probably get an early night tonight, and then we will look at doing a few things tomorrow. Might do a bit of kayaking. Do a little bit of. Uh, mm -hmm. A little bit of um, just exploring around here. We've got to get some firewood. But we'll get an early night tonight and um, probably see you in the morning. Yes, mga lalab, see you tomorrow morning, okay? Good night. Good morning, everyone. About, I don't know, 6 30, I guess. Sun is rising up just over there, and uh, everyone, everyone else is asleep at the moment, so I'm just about to boil the, I'm just boiling the kettle and about to have a coffee. Chicken. Bees up. Chicken. 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 Wait. Oh, down there, there's chickens there. Yeah, chicken. Well, it wasn't a bad night's sleep. It was a bit hot though, isn't it? Winter is still hot here. Huh? Oh, it was a bit warm. There was no breeze, so we put the fan on in the end. Just to cool things down. Did you have a good sleep or not? I did. You did have so a good sleep, sir. Took us a while to get to sleep though. So we're going to have coffee and breakfast. Everyone sounds like they're waking up now, actually. Do you want to have a Milo? I can hear movement. Good morning. How'd you sleep? It was a pretty good sleep, eh? I slept good in the end after that. After the fan on. Yeah, it was good because I know what what that how much electricity that draws now. So yeah, we might be able to as long as we can get some charge into the battery though. Let's go sleep when you're all up so early. <laughs> go have coffee. Oh my goodness. Let's go have coffee, mummy. Oh. Was it raining last night? Look, the ground is very damp. Good morning, B. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. So many birds here, my loves different kind of birds and most of them are singing they sing a song what's that movie of you know the Mock mockingjay hungry hung <laughs> hungry <Jay. laughs> oh mockingjay is the name of the bird remember yeah. what's his what's her name katniss you remember katniss um brooch brooch she's got this mockingjay and it's sing the mockingjay sing i think that's what i'm hearing last night but anyways, mga lalabs, I'll give you a tour here in O'Brien's. This is our first time 
first time coming here. So we've got our kayaks, of course, because we've got rivers. So that's the thing, mga lalabs, okay? So when we plan on going somewhere in a camping area, we always ask them if there is a, if there is a river or creek. You know why? You know why, Daddy, we need to? You know why we need to make sure that there is water? Because the kids can swim. Because of the kids. Most definitely. Yeah, they love water. You know, they're water babies, mga lalabs. So without a creek or anything, I think camping is just boredom. <laughs> okay, continue mga lalabs. So under the gazebo, we've got our tables where we eat. We've got this huge area under the tarp so i just put them all here and then make make the gazebo as the dining which is pretty cool so as usual mga lalabs we have our cooker we've got our pantry the altar foods we've got there and this is where our plates pans cups and everything and of course the mommy's chair and you know what mga lalabs this one this is the portable clothes line, which is very handy to bring. I always bring them. It's because, you know, if, especially if you're going to stay for four nights, you need to have this to hang wet towels and clothes because we don't want, unless you want to wash them here, but I don't want to bring dirty wet clothes back home. So I want them dry. So that's why clothes line is a must. So we've got the ten man tent mga lalabs this camping. Okay, so yeah, it's the same. Over there, mommy and daddy's bed. And Katie's um sleeps in the middle. And <laughs> and Casey and Kiana's bedroom. And this is the sunroom where all the you know boxes um, containers where you can put all your stuff that you don't need. That's going to be it for our video for today and last night, I think, because we've got a big day planned today which is going to be included in the next video. So I hope you enjoy our little stay here at O'Brien's Creek, and we'll see you in the next video I guess. Alright guys, cheers! Bye!